Jamie? Yes, for 22 years, BCI has been trying to identify this man, uh, who since his remains were found in Stark County. Again, that was in the early 2000s. And until today, a clay sculpture was the only idea we had of what this John Doe looked like when he was alive. Stark County Chief Deputy John Oliver was called to a scene on December 22, 2001. A skeleton was found southeast of Canton. It was a uh, piece of property. No home was on it. It was uh, partially brush covered, wooded up. The remains were decayed, the collarbone broken. The coroner's office says that likely came from a gunshot. Thanks to technology available at the time, detectives determined the person was a black male whose remains had been lying in the elements for four to six years. That was it. This case was cold. We had zero leads on identification. That's where BCI's Sam Molnar comes in. If all of those uh, leads fall short, then the the case can come to me for facial reconstruction. We introduced you to the criminal intelligence analyst slash forensic artist last week. Using software developed by an animator and a former video game designer at OSU, Molnar sculpts facial reconstructions on 3D printed copies of the skulls that are found. The team at OSU showed us how it works back in August. And what's so great about it is, is the phone that's in your pocket, you can take photos of the object and then within minutes reconstruct it into a 3D version of it. But what they couldn't show us at the time was another technological advancement up their sleeve, which brings us to today. For the first time today, we are actually able to do digital renderings as well. This new program allows investigators to create lifelike images of Molnar's sculptures and modify the features. Our goal is to be able to put these out, these images out, with different hairstyles, um, different skin tones, different eye colors, um, things like that. And then hopefully these multiple images or these multiple versions um, will generate somebody's uh, memory and you know maybe they'll call. Now thanks to these new images, detectives in Stark County can resume work on two cases that they have had no movement on in years. So the second case you see here is another John Doe found in 2020. Now if any of these images do look familiar to you, contact BCI or the Stark County Sheriff's Office.